Hi everyone, this is Tara Woodruff and I just wanted to address a couple of things. I've been getting lots of emails and inboxes on Facebook and in my uh, email account about how the heck do you even get started figuring out what you want to do if you want to work from home. So I wanted to go over a couple of things real quick. I'm getting ready to do a, a live broadcast here in about 20 minutes so it's going to be short and sweet. But there's four initial steps that I really think are important to setting yourself up for success in creating your own work at home business, whether it is you join an existing company or you start your own brick and mortar. Number one is personal development. Number one is personal development. It's number one for a reason. The reason being no matter what it is that you're getting involved with or what it is that you're going to start promoting, people buy from you. They buy from you more than anything else. You, your product, your, um, your service is secondary to your personal development. So it's extremely important to get on that. I'm going to make a, a, a separate video dealing with step one and that's going to be coming soon. Um, it's ex extremely important. Rich people spend more money on their personal development than any other thing. Any other thing. So think about that. If you're um, struggling financially and you don't have a lot of books around about finances and personal development, that's, a, that's an area you're going to want to get into. And number two, organization is extremely important. Imagine being at home trying to chase around a couple of kids or a couple of dogs or anything and not being able to get above and just get out, out of yourself because of clutter, because you're not caught up on your housework and it makes you have feelings of guilt and so forth. So organization is really important. I suggest that no matter how neat and clean you are right now, go ahead and set a challenge up. Count how many rooms you have in your house. Combine whatever rooms you think you need to. And um, give yourself one day. And give yourself a challenge. Of, you know, if you have seven rooms, seven days. If you have, you know, ten rooms, ten days. And take one room completely apart, head to toe. Clean it from top to bottom. Take everything out of it you don't want or need. Go ahead and throw a sheet in the living room. And in the living room, put what you're going to donate, what's got to go to the garbage, and what you want to locate in another place. Um, make sure that you remember you... you you keep track of those things by putting them in that new place that it's going to be even if you're not tackling that room yet. Uh, we did that here last year and boy oh boy has it helped a lot. I, When it's time to do the dishes now, it's just time to do the dishes. It's not, oh my gosh, the dishes are piled up. and oh, no, no. You know what I'm saying? It, it's so much easier to keep your house and to feel serene and calm if you go ahead and get that stuff done before you even begin. So get your house organized. Um, you don't have to be a genius at organization. There's lots of really good YouTubes out there on people that are experts at it and do it for a living. There's lots of different things. The thing is you've got to know where things are. You need to know how to get to them quickly and you need to not feel overwhelmed with housework. Because if you're going to be working from home, that's where you're going to be. Um, your desk area, that five feet right around that, like where I'm sitting, it has to be the most perfect spot. Um, keep your bills in order. I love to um, have a my bills in a paid spot and I like to fa fantasize and visualize and actualize those bills in the paid spot getting taller and taller um, and then once the the new month comes up I go ahead and file them away or I get rid of them whatever it is I need to do to maintain my peace of mind so organization is number two um, I will be making a video about that I really highly suggest right now you go to www.jeffreysgoldenplan.com That's jeffreysgoldenplan.com and sign up for Jeffrey Combs' 7-day procrastination recovery program. That has a lot to do with clutter in your house. It has a lot to do with how successful you'll be at your home business. Number three, work with what you have. Don't allow what you want to get in the way of what you're, you're doing now. Well, I wish that, you know, I hear a lot of times I could have, I could reach out to more people if I had a car. Well, get on your bike. Get on a bus. Go for a walk. Start jogging in your neighborhood, meeting neighbors and waving your hand. Anything that you can. Um, if you don't have access to the internet, your local library does. 
find a way to get there and spend time there. Um, develop your skills. Work with what you have until you have more. And then you work with that. Don't let your limitations get in your way. Let them help you. It can be overwhelming. It can be scary. You might not have a lot of time. Your, your transition into working from home might be involved with still working full time somewhere. Um, the organization and the personal development is going to help you a lot in getting that time that you do have available and working it to your best ability. And number four, last but not least, it's not number one, but it's connected to number one. Pre-pave, pre-pave, pre-pave. Every single night before you go to sleep, you sit down and write out things that you want to accomplish the next day. Do it. Think about it, meditate on it when you go to sleep. When you wake up the next morning, write out, I am so grateful for, and those things that you want to happen, act as if they've already happened, prepave your days, prepave every second if you must. Like the 12-step uh, program from Alcoholics Anonymous, you know, one day at a time, one minute at a time, one second, whatever it is, that's uh, really vital. And you have, to, you have to take control over your day and don't let things willy-nilly come to you. If, if you do prepave your day, you will notice that your days will consistently and more often become more and more like the days that you're prepaving that you want. So work on those four things. I'm going to make um, videos going into depth on those four things, and I look forward to seeing you then. Don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I get these videos uploaded. Thank you so much. This is Tara Woodruff coming to you from Florida. And I gotta go. 15 minutes to a live broadcast. So I'll see you then. Bye.